Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well today. So for today's video, I'm really excited because I'm doing a makeup video, which I feel like I haven't done in the longest time. Like I haven't just sat down and got ready with you guys and had a little chat. So I thought I would do that today. And as well, on my most recent videos, like my recent vlogs and my recent hauls, I've had quite a few requests for a updated makeup routine because I feel like I've been going a bit more glam recently. I don't really wear makeup, to be honest with you, just because I work from home home so I really rarely leave the house when I do I've been making a little bit more of an effort and more glam so any makeup looks that you've seen me in recently this is going to be the kind of look that I'm showing you today so yeah I thought we would just get glam and have a little chat something that's also really 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 exciting about this video is it is sponsored by look fantastic which I'm so excited about because I've honestly shopped on look fantastic for years if you look at like my previous makeup videos where i link all of the makeup below like the majority of the time it is from look fantastic because they honestly just sell everything like if you want to make a big makeup order or there's some things that you've been wanting i've been looking at like it's going to be on look fantastic just an amazing shop if you are interested in anything like skincare makeup hair care look fantastic is a really good site to go on because you can just do a big order of all different sort of things that you're looking for so a big thank you to look fantastic for sponsoring this video so there in this video you can get on look fantastic i will obviously leave all the products linked in the description box below if you are interested as well as their website and all other information so a lot of this stuff is things that i've used for quite a while now like my kind of staples in my makeup routine and then there are some other bits which are new from look fantastic which i'm going to be doing like a little first impressions of as well so you can kind of see how they apply and how they look throughout this video which is really exciting so Let's just go ahead and get started with like my classic, I'm going to call it everyday makeup look because if I'm wearing makeup, this is what I'm wearing at the minute. But as I said, don't wear makeup every day. Okay, the first thing that I need to get you guys on, this is like the best invention ever, I'm obsessed. This is the Tan Lux The Face Illuminating Self Tan Drops. This is my new bottle. This is the bottle that I've literally just run out of. There's like one little pump left in there. These are little face tanning drops that you mix in with your moisturizer and you apply every day after you've washed your face. Obsessed since I've discovered these. I probably bought this like maybe a month or two, no probably about two months ago it's taken me about two months to go through this little jar so i've always fake tan my face because i don't wear makeup a lot i feel like i need to have my face match my body if i'm self tanning but when you self tan your face with normal self tanner i feel like it just wouldn't ever go on nicely like it's something to your pores you get them little black dots it goes pat i don't know i just feel like it looks like you've self tanned your face kind of looks a little bit dirty discovered these literally what i've just been using on my face like i said for the past couple of months it just gives you like this gorgeous tanned glow i use the shade medium slash dark and i do about two drops in my moisturizer that is all you need so it does last a really long time and yeah it just gives you like a really nice kind of tan glow i've been using um, a tanning like self tan lotion on my body so it just helps ensure that like everything's matched up so when i do go out not wearing makeup everything kind of blends together really nicely but looks really really natural so obsessed with these if you like to have a bit of a glow to your face a little bit of color to your face but you don't like using actual like foam self tanner um on it definitely check out these drops they are a lifesaver and yeah the brand is tan Lux. obsessed with them so this is what i start off with with moisturizer to prep my skin and something new i'm going to try today is the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base i've heard about this for years and i've just always heard that it's like a good obviously base and primer for your makeup so with my makeup i tend to like as a primer more of a moisturizing base even though i'm oily i feel like sometimes that actually helps to give your skin some moisture um not to dry it out so it doesn't kind of overcompensate and then produce more oils so i personally like to start with more of a moisturizing base so i want to try this out so it's an all-in-one primer and moisturizer comes in a nice little jar mm. it smells really nice i don't know what kind of scent that is i'm just gonna oh it's like a jelly jelly consistency so i'm just gonna use a little bit as my base oh my god that smells insane i'm gonna let that sink into my skin for like a minute or two just so it isn't as sticky but so far so good i feel like it feels really nice it smells nice feels really moisturizing as well but not too like it almost feels dry already which is definitely good as a makeup base you don't want like a sticky base and then for my base this is what i swear by recently i've actually been wearing foundation like all my recent videos i've been wearing foundation because like i said i've just been feeling like 
been a bit more glam. Um, the foundation that I swear by is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is one of the best foundations that I've found. It really does, it's called Natural Radiant and I feel like it's exactly that. Like on the skin it just looks so natural, it doesn't look thick or cakey. But it provides a really nice amount of coverage and just gives you like that glam look without looking yeah like caked in foundation so this is just one of my absolute favorites like i said any of my recent videos that you've seen my makeup in this is the foundation i just swear by it and i use the shade barcelona and that matches like the self tan really well but for today's video i'm going to be trying a new product which i've been wanting to try this out for a while so like I said, recently I have been opting for a foundation just for more of a glam look because I've said in like previous makeup videos I don't typically wear foundation, I just wear concealer. When I'm feeling glam, I want to do a foundation. So I thought I would try the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. So I don't feel like I need tons of coverage. That's why I usually just go with the concealer. But sometimes I just want that overall kind of same, you know, like a foundation look would give you, but I don't always feel like I need that coverage. So Someone actually suggested this particular um, tinted moisturiser to me in one of my videos. So I thought I'd give it a go. I guess the colour, because obviously I bought it online. But I went for medium one, which is St. Moritz. I'm pretty sure with how much product to go in with, to be honest. I think I'm just going to do a little bit, because we can always build it up. Hopefully this is okay colour as well. Mmm, colour's literally perfect. Mmm, smells nice. Or is that the Bobbi Brown cream? Could be that actually. It's giving really good coverage. Like, I'm really surprised. Seeing as it's a tinted moisturiser, I feel like it's giving a really nice natural amount of coverage. But it's just kind of evened out my skin tone. Even kind of complexion. I'm just looking in the mirror now, but... I'm gonna obsess with it. This is the kind of product that I've been looking for. Like, when well, I just wanna be that bit more glam, but I don't wanna put on foundation like this is the perfect product and i thought that you could definitely build this up as well like i literally used a pea-sized amount and that spread over the face really nicely and i don't feel like i need to add any more because i can just go in with some concealer let's just put a little bit on let's just see if it's buildable got a little bit of a breakout on the cheek so just gonna push that in and see if it this coverage is literally amazing like, i did not think it would be this kind of coverage i could just give them the nicest even look Thank you to whoever recommended this particular uh, tinted moisturiser because it literally looks so nice. I'm so glad that I got the colour right. So I got St. Moritz. Anyone who's wondering if you're kind of like a similar complexion in terms of like self tan. And like you can still see my freckles peeking through. It hasn't covered them up. I am really chuffed with that. So I definitely get approval from me. That's going to be my new everyday. But then again, if I do want more of an actual glam look, like full coverage, then this NARS one will be. I feel like NARS complex, like they just get the complexion. Like NARS are really good for base products. And speaking of NARS again, I obviously have a thing for NARS. I'm using their Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. So I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes to kind of brighten and just make that more of a full coverage look and also i'm going to spot conceal i think just on a few spots that i've got on like my chin and my cheek so the amount i use i kind of go in the inner corner along my eyelid as well do a little section here i also go around my nose and then a little line here as well and then i kind of drag it down into more of a fuller triangle but i used to do like a really big massive triangle but then i felt like it would then drag too far look a little bit on my forehead on my chin i'm just gonna go over these spots here a little bit and then a little bit down my nose as well and then just blend that in again i'm just gonna kind of drag it down a little bit just so it brightens and lifts the face I feel like with these products as well, they give you like a flawless looking base without it looking heavy and cakey, but you still look kind of done up and, you know, put together. So once that is all blended, I'm going to set my face with a loose powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And I kind of bake where I feel like I get oily. And then the other areas, I'll just use a brush to set it. Areas that I feel like get oily. So that's kind of like underneath my eyes and like along my... Oh, not bake, sorry. I use a sponge. I didn't mean bake. I use a sponge to press it in because I just feel like it 
I don't know, it kind of like packs it on a little bit better and it helps with my oils. Oh. Also my eyelids, because my eyelids are really, really oily. This is a really smooth powder, and if you have oily skin, it's amazing, because it's not dry, like it doesn't look dry on your skin, but it does really, really help in keeping like the oils at bay and everything just set in place. And then I'll just use a brush on the rest of the face, just really lightly. Set everything so that the powders won't go like patchy when I put my bronzer on and stuff. Then that is the finished um, base. Speaking of bronzer onto the next product which this is like my third or fourth one at this point it's just my favorite bronzer and it's affordable which is always handy this is the nyx just matte bronzer i get it in the shade deep tan this is quite a deep color but i just feel like i like the undertone so i just go lightly with it um but yeah it's like my fourth one i think it's just the best color it's really really pigmented it lasts well i just love it so i'm going to put that on my forehead first and then drag it onto my cheeks i never like dab and put it straight onto my cheeks just because like i said it is quite a deep shade and it's very pigmented so you want to go light with this and then just keep building it but it blends really easily my favorite bronzer that i found i've tried like more expensive bronzers that are a bit more of a splurge and each time i just end up going back and buying this because i just think it looks the best and it just looks natural so put it on my neck and just drag down because I'm wearing this bodysuit. Also just helps to like shape your face as well. I just think that's the perfect shade, but definitely be careful with it because it's so pigmented. Just like build it up slowly, but once you actually get all the product on, like it's just the prettiest shade for blush. Now that it's summer, I've been preferring more of a peachy kind of shade. I feel like it just ties in with like the bronze summer kind of look do you know what i mean this is mac peaches and i do put quite a lot of blush on because i do feel like blush definitely fades quicker like out of everything on your face for some reason the blush always just fades the most so i do put on quite a lot just so it's but then also i like how that looks like i just like a lot of blush and i also put a little bit on my nose like this here area here because i feel like it gives that like sunburn effect i basically just put it everywhere love the blush but this is a really nice like peachy shade perfect for summer it is pigmented but not too much where you can just like build it up and get the intensity that you personally like for your blush like i said for me that's a lot so i just keep applying it till you get this nice like peachy cheek and a little bit of a sunburn nose as well so for eyeshadow i feel like i've been doing my eyeshadow a little bit differently recently which you might have noticed in my recent videos um but i'm actually using a new palette today from look fantastic this is the jaclyn hill morphe divine neutrals palette and when i just saw i mean the shades are very similar to what i've been wearing anyway but i just love this sort of color palette the matte browns like are what really speak to me because in general i mainly just do like a matte brown look so the matte browns are really important and i just thought the the browns on this were so stunning and then we do also have some shimmer like neutral at the bottom but i've actually been doing a bit of a like shimmery eye recently i've been doing more glitter um on my lid just for when i've been going out because it just feels yeah a bit more glam a bit more summery just a little bit of gold glitter like nothing crazy but that's what I've been doing. So I thought this was the perfect palette. I'm just going to start off with one of the lighter brown shades. I'm going to take Good Vibes. No, actually, I'm going to mix Just Barely and then Good Vibes. It's kind of like my transition brown shade in the crease. I've never actually used Morphe um, eyeshadows before. Oh, it's pigmented. Um, yeah, I've never used their eyeshadows before, so I was quite excited to see like what product is like. And I've always loved Jaclyn Hill, so I always wanted to pick it up because of that as well. That's a perfect brown shade. So usually, like on day to day, I would just use a colour like this and just literally wash it all over my lid um, and a bit in my crease. But I'm going to go a bit more glam today and do like the makeup look that I've been wearing recently. But for every day, that is like the perfect kind of shade. But like you don't really need to blend much with it. I mean, I guess this is, this is like a lighter shade. But as I'm putting it down, it just kind of looks nice. <laughs> just trying to kind of flick it out a little bit. I mean, I could use sellotape. Um, I kind of want to try using sellotape again. But I just try and get that kind of effect of like going upwards. And then I'd go in with a slightly darker brown just directly in 
the crease. So I'm going to use this shade Booked here, which is a nice, it's like a neutral brown, but it's definitely a little bit more on the warmer side. And I'm just going to concentrate that. Well, it's a really nice color. Just in the crease, mainly the outer kind of corner as well. Just posted my um, finished vlog, which I kind of did some of the this kind of makeup look in them as well, if you're interested. And also, I'm just so happy with that vlog. So if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. I just had the best time. And I love capturing like the memory of it. Like I still, I haven't done a holiday vlog obviously in a really long time because of the pandemic and stuff. The last one I did was Berlin and then Ibiza. And I just love watching them back, like the memories, because you do sometimes, without pictures and videos, you do kind of forget um, what you did. I literally love that brown colour. It's a really nice shade. Um, yeah, you kind of forget what you did, so I'm so happy with that vlog. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. And I'm going on a few more holidays this year, so I'll definitely be vlogging them as well. Honestly, mainly for the memories, because just looking back at them, I just love kind of seeing what I got up to. And obviously I have the pictures and stuff, but it just jogs your memory, like actually seeing a recording of it. That's the kind of base I would do, just really simple. And then across just the lid, not the outer corner. I just put the glitter like from the inner corner to like three quarters of the way across. I've just been using like a shimmery gold. So I'm gonna use the shade Birthday Suit, which looks just the perfect like shimmery, neutral kind of gold color. And I wanna see whether this is like a really shimmery. Oh wow, yeah. Very gold, this one actually, like very gold, which ties in really nicely with like, the bronzed kind of look. For summer, I feel like it's just like the perfect glam kind of look. And then I'm literally just gonna mix all of them matte brown shades together just to do the um, lower lash line. And just blend that all together so it ties nicely. And then I feel like this is the most important step of my eyeshadow. Like if I don't do this, I don't feel like myself. Like I would not leave the house if I hadn't done this step. So I just take an angle, like a thin angled eyeshadow brush and then take a really deep um, neutral brown. So I'm going to use this shade. This is Cinnamon Roll. It's that nice like deep neutral brown colour. And on the angled brush, I'm going to put really close to the lash line like just the outer corner and then as well kind of really subtly wing it out and then just taking the same brown i do like my inner lash line area and then i do the little flick in the inner corner if i don't do this flick i feel like i just don't look myself like i don't know how i never used to do the flick but that's how i just feel like the eyes really pop if you do a little flick in the inner corner and if you have a really thin angled um detail brush it's really simple to do because you just kind of place the brush down and it kind of does the point for you hope you can see but i'm literally just pushing the product down just to give that little point it gives that nice like cat eye look and i feel like it just makes your eyes look bigger like that i feel really makes the makeup i don't do it on the actual center of my lash line because i want the my eyes to look more almond like and then i also do blend the outer shadow a little bit with a brush just so it looks a little bit more like smoky i guess first impressions of this jacqueline hill morphe palette i love the brown shades like i said this is this is the go-to look like neutral to warm not too warm brown crease and a gold shimmery lids it's just perfect do you know what i mean and this just looks really lovely but i particularly love the brown shades like i think because they're not too warm they're a little bit more on the neutral side which i prefer i don't love really really orange browns and these are like the perfect kind of in between i love the look of this pink as well i don't know if i'm gonna have the confidence to actually have pink on my lid but it looks very pretty so very impressed with that eyeshadow palette next is eyebrows i've used this product for I just don't even know how long, like before I even started YouTube, every single makeup video, this is the eyebrow product that I use. It is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. It's really affordable. They have a really nice shade range. It's just really easy to like apply and blend out. I feel like it gives a really nice natural kind of look. I use the shade Espresso, which is nice and cool toned. It just goes on so easily. It just blends really nicely. I feel like if you are like a beginner with eyebrow products, this is a really good product to use because just can't really go wrong so i kind of outline how my eyebrows to look and then i will just do like little strokes to replicate your eyebrow hairs and then just brush it all through with 
the spoolie that it comes with. That literally takes like not even a minute and then the eyebrows done. Now for lashes. This is a product again I've raved about for years, like all of my makeup videos that I've done. These are the Tweezerman um, lash curlers. I don't know what it is about these particular lash curlers, but if you want your eyelashes to be really curly and stand out with your mascara, I don't know what it is about these ones, but if I use, like, if I use my sister's lash curlers, like, she actually has these now. Before I'd got her onto these, her, I don't know what brand they were, another brand of eyelash curlers. They just, they just didn't curl the lashes the same. Like, these, these just curl them so well. So, when I don't have mascara on them, I'll just curl them, like, really lightly. Because otherwise I feel like it's too hard to put the mascara on if they're really, really curly. So, I just lightly press to get them to lift a little for mascara favorite mascara ever this is the maybelline um full seat lash lift i have tried other mascaras throughout the years but i always end up going back to this one because i feel like it just makes my lashes so long like really spaced out and thick i like quite a chunky mascara look this isn't like a really chunky mascara but i do put on like three to four coats so <laughs> then it's chunky also it's like a tenner compared to a lot of other high-end mascaras like this one just it's affordable and it's just really good you know so this is definitely the mascara that i recommend and all my videos this is the mascara that i am wearing let that first coat dry back to the nyx eyebrow pencil i go over my natural freckles with this eyebrow pencil because i feel like it just looks really natural so with that tinted moisturizer i can now really see where my natural freckles actually are so i can just kind of over overline them i think that's the right word like i can just kind of go over them uh, and make them look a little bit more pronounced kind of go over with my finger a little bit as well just to push them in I'm just going in with the second coat of mascara hate the face I pull when I put mascara on and I put a little bit on the bottom as well for lips I really like the MAC lipstick in cork it's just a really nice kind of warm toned brown it's kind of darker than the um lipsticks i would usually use so it kind of gives that nice outline um, and i do kind of overline my lips as well my favorite lipstick at the minute like a nice nudie almost pinky shade slightly is max honey love and i just dab this like i don't put tons on but i'll just dab and blend out something that i also like to do with my lips which is kind of weird but i like how it kind of makes your lips look pouty i'll use the nyx eyebrow pencil really lightly to outline my lips then you also just want to make sure that you kind of tap it in so it's not like this really harsh like dark brown line but it just creates like a nice natural kind of shadow and just makes the lips look a bit plumper into the third coat which i think is going to be my final coat today i think we're going to go with three coats i've got some mascara on my eyelid but i'll just use the spoolie um on the eyebrow 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 pencil um once it's dried and it will just scrape off just love this mascara it just looks good every single time i'm obsessed with that tinted moisturizer like my skin just looks so fresh but it's got a really nice amount of coverage to it i think it just looks really really pretty i'm going to show you what gloss i use i don't wear gloss often but if i am wearing gloss this is the gloss that i recommend and it's so affordable as well it's the revolution pout bomb and i use this is actually the clear shade but it's just discolored slightly with like the lipsticks i've used love the chunky bottle and like the big doe foot applicator like that doesn't really matter but i just like it but this makes your lips so glossy like it just looks like wet on the lips but it's not sticky or thick at all like they would just usually honestly leave it like here or, or sometimes actually to be fair to lighten up the middle something i didn't show you guys i'll put a tiny bit of concealer just to lighten up the lipstick ever so slightly so this is my go-to kind of lipstick look but i will show you the gloss on just to show you how nice it looks it just looks wet on your lips but the consistency of it is so nice it kind of tingles not a lot, but it does tingle the lips a little bit, which I actually quite like. 
if I'm wearing gloss, this is mainly the one that I go for. And it's so affordable as well. This next bit, again, I feel like it's something that just really makes your eyes come together. Like, I feel like it makes my eyes really pop. Um, do this with caution. I know not everyone is happy to do this. This is what I've done for, like, years now. And, again, it's something that I feel like I don't look like me if I don't do it. So, I always curl, again, with the Tweetum and Lash Curlers, my lashes after I've put mascara on them. So, you're going to want to make sure that they're really dry. Like, give the mascara, like, a good five minutes to dry. And then, also, just just like light pressure don't grip hard like i don't want to be responsible for everyone pulling their eyelashes out but i've done it for years and i've really seen no difference in my lashes like i don't feel like it's pulled any out or anything so once the mascara is dry i will just use the tweezer lash curlers really lightly and just pulse on them and then it just whew, makes your lashes look super big like i feel like naturally i feel like my lashes do look long with mascara on and stuff but when they look the most intense it's definitely because i've curled them maybe it's something as well to do with these particular lash curlers because they've never like pulled out any eyelashes or anything i just love these so much and they've been going strong for like four years now so they're doing pretty well and then for the final thing on the eyes which again i feel like it's just another staple like this really brings all the eyes together i'm using the mac technical liner in photo gravure this again is like my fifth or so tube you can get it on look fantastic and it's just the best eyeliner for the waterline like it doesn't smudge it doesn't run and also the actual color is described as a deep brown no black what's it described though it's like deep brown slash black like it's not a black liner but it's also not a brown so it's as intense as a black liner but not so in i don't know what it is but this color just really makes your eyes pop because it's not that really harsh black but sometimes i feel like brown is just not enough and i always do i think it's called the tight line and this is what's going to make your lashes look a lot thicker because the tight line is filled in so i always go along my tight line and then also the water line as well And it just makes your eyes like pop and all come together. That is the finished glam makeup look. As I said, I, I usually go for matte lip, but I do actually really like the gloss. I feel like I go through stages where I'm like obsessed with gloss and glittery eyes. And then I'm just like, I want it to be all matte. But I think this looks really nice for summer. And then the last product I've got, which is a newbie for me. It's something to try. This is the Morphe Continuous 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 setting mist um i've wanted to try this for ages to be fair so it's just like a fine spray that's supposed to set your makeup also been intrigued about the actual spray because it's supposed to be like a fine continuous con oh my god why can't i say like continuous mist i'm just gonna break the seal first oh oh that is fine oh my god that smells so nice See, I don't know if this is going to help with the longevity of the products just yet, but the actual mist is so fine and it smells. Oh my god, it smells unreal. Also, the mist is really good because some sprays, I feel like they kind of attack you with liquid and then you can get little like, like little splodges of liquid on your face which really mess up your makeup, whereas you're not going to get this with this because it's such a fine light mist. So, it's kind of in my mouth, but mad about it because it tastes nice that is the finished makeup look this is the like glam kind of look i've been doing in my most recent videos just like my staple kind of go-to at the moment with my favorite products like i said obviously some of this stuff i tried like new today is like first impressions definitely for like standouts i feel like this tinted moisturizer I'm just obsessed that like, my skin looks so natural, but it just, it looks better than when I just use concealer. Like it just looks more kind of even and has like a nice amount of coverage to it where it still looks really natural. If you have been looking for a tinted moisturizer, I really, really recommend this one. And even like the shade is just really nice. Like it goes really nice with my tan. Like it just blends really seamlessly. You can't kind of tell like, am I wearing foundation? Am I not? Like you, I don't know, like it looks flawless, but not 
obviously so of like i'm wearing makeup on my face anyway um so i really really love that so really obsessed with the mist on this like it just feels this feels refreshing like i feel like you could also take this out as like a refreshing kind of mist if you want to if you're a bit sweaty you kind of need to touch up your makeup and then kind of bring it back to life with this i feel like it looks really nice so yeah this is my go-to makeup look on my everyday makeup i hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me as i said before i will link all of the products that i've shown in this video in the description box if you are interested in checking out any of my favorite products or any of the newbies that i showed in this video i hope you guys enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos and i will see you in my next one